Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, before the main video got started, I wanted to show you just a couple seconds of how the yard looked right after I applied the Weed Be Gone. Um, and then what you will see in the upcoming video is an update on how it looks. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care. Hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys in the yard. Hey guys, welcome back to the Thrill of DIY. You can see this is some of the better grass I've got right here uh, in the yard. It's finally starting to green up a little bit. I just cut it a day or so ago. Uh, I've sprayed uh, the Weed Be Gone on here and I've sprayed the Humic 12, the Air 8, and then also the RGS, all the uh, next products from the Green County Fert people. Um, so far I can't really see a lot of um, change, but I am happy that some of this grass is starting to get a little taller and get a little soft and uh, not necessarily have the weeds in it. So we're going to take a look around the yard and see some uh, progress shots of how things have gone and how things are going. We'll be right back. Okay, as you can see here, this is very similar or reminiscent to the very first video I did when I started this channel. Uh, this is just showing you the lawn again, the progress that I've made in about a month's time. Uh, this is the front yard. Uh, I've just sprayed it again with Weed Be Gone. It's the second application on it, and I cut it lower this time, hoping to starve out some of those weeds. The main yard is cut uh, a little higher that way it gives uh, the grass a little better opportunity to grow you can still see that there are some spots that need repairing these bare spots that you're seeing is actually where there were weeds that the weed be gone killed um, so it's left me with little pockets or little islands of, of good grass so I've just been trying to take the best care I can of it and I plan on overseeding once I get to a point in time where I can do that. Uh, this is the side yard. Again, this is where, where a lot of weeds were. Uh, now it's a lot of bare spots with some hints of, of little pockets of good grass. So it's been a process. Uh, it's been a learning process for me. Uh, this is also this corner of the yard right here is where I've been normally starting out with the next DIY products the Humic 12, the Air 8, the RGS, and then I plan on spraying the microgreen as well. Uh, th this here is just again another sh shot of the pockets of good grass that I've got in my yard and um, I'm just gonna try to continue to baby those guys as best I can. Uh, if you want to see how my yard looked originally I'll put a link down in the description of that video so that you can see that and kind of keep up with the progress again those are some huge bare spots uh, bare spots here as well um, that's kind of the the trend in this yard at the moment is the are the bare spots so I'm hoping to overseed these things and I really don't want to just go and 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 buy sod and lay it down or buy turf and lay it down I really want to see what I can do just by overseeding Again, this is a great big area that shows you exactly how, how well the weed be gone work. That's the one application of this. And then within three or four days, it started to die, cut it once, and it just went straight down to the ground. Uh, so a good, a good indication. Again, this spot here as well were weeds. Another great indication. This is also reminiscent of a shot I took uh, on the first video. So you can go back and look and see how that I was as well. Uh, there's a little brown spot there where I dug up some some weeds there, but um, overall the weed be gone worked great. Uh, that's a little up close shot of some decent grass. Uh, right now my yard looks a mess, but I think it's going to look worse before it looks better. Coming around to the front, uh, 
got some clover there and some weeds as well. And then we're coming up right here on my knockout roses right there. There they are, my knockout roses. I'm very proud of them. I've been spraying a little bit of Humic 12 on them as well as some RGS and it's really helped them pop. Uh, brought the color out as well and they've been doing just tremendous. We're gonna uh, work on getting some shrubs in the front part of the house this week or next week once we get things situated and hopefully we will have a better looking front yard as well. So again, if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button and press the thumbs up.